Okay, so I want to answer this question, which came from one of my subscribers. Uh, one of my subscribers came and uh, then asked this question here. So let me just uh, scroll it a little bit so that you can see. So if there will be noise in the background, then that is it, you see. Just concentrate because, you know, when you are doing things in a home, it is not possible that you can silence the children. So this is the question, which is on percentage yield. Okay. I think my card didn't wanted me to show how to answer this in my online group. And then I wanted you guys to see. So the main thing that I'm going to teach you here is actually how to find them. Um, I'm going to teach actually how to find the percentage yield here. Okay. So we'll look at the percentage. Percentage yield. That's the main thing we are going to look at. So when you look at this question here, it says um, that uh, 5.0 grams of pure calcium carbonate were completely decomposed by heat then 900 cubic centimeters of carbon dioxide were evolved at room temperature and pressure so this is the equation this is calcium carbonate pure calcium carbonate which is this one then was heated uh, were completely decomposed so de to decompose is to break down break down breaking down so we are completely decomposed by heat meaning heat was applied then they decomposed it then yeah they decomposed to produce calcium oxide and the carbon dioxide so they're saying carbon dioxide so they're saying 900 cubic decimeter i mean centimeters of carbon dioxide were evolved so to evolve is to produce at room temperature and the pressure so room temperature is abbreviated as rtp that is room temperature and the pressure then um they are saying that to calculate here calculate the volume of carbon dioxide which was expected to be produced okay so in a question when when they tell you that there is this volume already produced Meaning, this is not the actual one produced. This one is actually the, the what? In any percentage yield, yeah. When we are talking of percentage yield, let me just scroll a little bit up here. When you are talking of percentage yield, percentage yield, okay, percentage yield, I'm just abbreviating the word percentage using this one here. So is equal to actual yield, so that's what you should know actual yield of a theoretical yield then times 100 percent so yeah so usually i don't do a lot of videos because uh, in my home a lot of noise goes on and i don't like my videos to have noise so now I failed to silence everyone in the house because the children there so it is not possible for me to do that so that's why you see my channel don't have a lot of videos because yeah I don't like it when my videos have got noise but sometimes you have no option but to do it so like here this is the question so when they say calculate the volume of carbon dioxide which was expected to be produced so meaning they are asking for theoretical yield what is produced in the reaction when you heat this so you see you have calcium i can just say calcium carbonate which is here which is being heated to produce carbon a calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide so here we were given 5.0 grams of a calcium oxide so here we have 5.0 grams then they're asking us to calculate volume of carbon dioxide so here we have just mass let me say we have mass of calcium oxide which is here then here we are asked to find the volume which we don't know so before you start 
doing this because this is a more concept and the part of more concept uh, is actually percentage yield and stoichiometry. So you need to, com uh, to combine two things. In one question, there's a stoichiometry and then there's also percentage yield. Yeah. So for you to find this, you need to apply stoichiometry and in stoichiometry, you need to balance the equation. So here, calcium is one, calcium one here, then carbon here, one, also carbon here, one, then oxygen three here, oxygen one plus this two here, three. So the equation as it is, it is balanced. So when it is balanced, then what you need to do is just to find the mass of carbon produced. So you have been given 5.0 grams of calcium carbonate. Then you are being asked to find carbon dioxide. So you find the mass of carbon dioxide, which was produced or which was evolved. Why am I going straight for the mass? Because I am trying to see this mass here. Once I get the mass of carbon dioxide using this mass of calcium carbonate, then I convert that mass into number of moles, then from number of moles into volume, that's how I'm going to proceed. So now what I'm going to do here is to do like this. So I'm going to say, okay, I have been given five grams of calcium carbonate. What do I have for carbon dioxide? I have X, I don't know. Then here I'm going to use, if I'm looking for the mass of carbon dioxide, then I'm going to use actually the molar masses, okay? Whenever you want to deal with mass to mass, it is very important that you use even molar mass to shorten the stages. So the molar mass of this is actually 100, then you go like that, then the molar mass of carbon dioxide is actually 44. So how do we find this one? You see calcium is like this, calcium carbonate is like this. Then the relative atomic mass of calcium alone is 40. That of carbon is 12, that ox oxygen is 16. I'm sure you know this. So you total them up, you say 14 plus 12 plus now 16 times three because there are three atoms of oxygen. So you say 16 times three. So when you evaluate this one, you get 100, okay? Then for carbon dioxide here, also carbon dioxide like this. Okay, so carbon alone here is 12, oxygen here is 16. So here you say 12 plus 16 times 2 because there are two atoms of uh, hydrogen, I mean oxygen. When you total, you get 44. Yes, yeah, so you say this is to that. What about it? Uh, this is to that what about that so you just do cross multiplication 100 times x you get like um, 100 x okay 100 x then you say uh, 5 times 44 so let me just do that mm -hmm. 5 times 44 what am i getting 220 so i come here i get 2 20 so this will be grams because this one and this one then i want x so I'll divide by 100 okay even here by 100 okay so that one goes i'll have x is equal to so that one 220 divided by 100 so say divided by 100 then i get just the 2.2 so i'll get 2.2 grams of so now this will be grams of carbon dioxide. Now, what I'm interested in is actually the, what I'm interested in is actually the volume. So this question will have a lot of stages. That's why it was given three marks. At least this time around, they tried to allocate the right for marks than I see in some of the question where they never allocate uh, the appropriate marks looking at the stages one need to do in order to solve the question. So here now, what we do, okay, let me just get my key. So let me just get my pen there and then let me just, okay, so now it is going to be like, after knowing the number of, uh, the mass of carbon dioxide, I'll find the number of moles of carbon dioxide. So that's what I said. So say number of moles is equal to mass over molar mass. 
then I need number of moles, so I'll say equals mass of carbon dioxide is what I found, 2.2, okay, of uh, molar mass of carbon dioxide is what here, 44. So what I'm going to do is to say, um, I'm going to say like uh, 22 divided by 44, so I'll get 0 0.05. So here, the answer is 0. 0 0.05 so these are the number of moles of carbon dioxide now what we need is to find uh, the volume that's the question we are looking at volume calculate volume of carbon dioxide so we don't need to lose track of that so now volume there's a question there's a formula which says number of moles is equal to volume over volume at rtp okay so now what we are going to do this is the volume they want so volume is going to be equal to we make it the subject of the formula which will be number of moles times c v at rtp sorry here it is in capital here it is in small letter which does not matter so here number of moles is what we found here 0 0.05 times then volume at rtp because we are dealing with rtp volume at rtp is 24 so you put 24 it's a standard you check from the periodic table so when you multiply this what we have here actually times 24 will get actually 1.2 so the volume is going to be 1.2 so this volume is going to be in decimeter so decimeter cubed like that so this is the answer here so you can underline it wherever your answer is found from try to underline it okay so then that is it. the volume we have found it so now we scroll so if you don't understand how i've solved this one rewatch it so that you get to understand each and every stage then we come to the second question which is b which says calculate the percentage yield of carbon dioxide gas so percentage yield which is going to be percentage yield okay is going to be actual yield okay actual yield of um, theoretical yield theoretical yield okay times 100 percent so if you check here the marks which have been allocated is just two sorry i made the mistake here in retyping it so the marks here is just supposed to be two, two marks there so now what we have found in, in A here is actually what we call theoretical yield. That's why they said calculate the volume of carbon dioxide which was expected to be produced. So it is actually the theoretical yield. Now, you see we were given this 900 cubic centimeters. So this 900 cubic centimeters is actually the actual yield. The one which is provided in the question is actually the actual yield so what we have found for ourselves is actually theoretical yield so you substitute now that which they gave you as actual yield which is 900 oh sorry which is 900 okay which is 900 centimeter cubed do you convert it to decimeter cubed so that it become by dividing by 1000 so that it becomes uh, 0 0.9 uh, decimeter cubed so meaning you substitute where this actual yield you put 0 0.9 uh, cubic decimeter of uh, theoretical yield is what we found by a which is 1.2 uh, cubic decimeter then times 100 percent then what you're going to do is to divide so yeah that's what is going to be done just dividing like uh, 0 0.9 divided by 1.2 which would be actually 0 
then times times 100 here times this 100 here okay you are going to get 75 percent okay so you say 75 percent yeah so this 75 percent will be now the percentage yield okay yeah so basically this is how it is done so for those who want to just uh, to join them the online revisions it is now at 50 quarter okay you get all the revisions already covered in the group so that you get to be updated to see what was it a revised at 50 quarter science promotion okay up to the time of writing the examination all right so you use the number which is on the, on the screen on 977 92 41 75 yeah so basically this is how this one is done yeah so i hope you have understood something from this uh, revision yeah bye and see you in the next revision